Now we have color balance. The color balance area here has the color divided into shadow, mid tone, and highlight. It's just like the levels that affect the tone range. This affects only the color. And you can use this for color grading and for color balancing. If your shadow is too warm, you can add blue to your shadow. Like this, you can add blue to your shadow. If your shadow is too bluish, you can add orange, you can add green, you can add stylized colors. You can leave it at default. This slider is for saturation. This slider right here is for saturation. Zero saturation, 100 saturation. This is for luminance. Is the highest brightness of the color. This color, the shadow color can achieve. This is the darkest range the shadow area can achieve in the color range. So we are going to return this to default. If you double tap, it returns to default. Double tap, it returns to default. So you can manually increase the saturation of the shadow like this, and then you can also affect the brightness like this and using this particular buzzing right here you can change the hue of the shadow for this particular stage of the retouching we are going to return everything to the fourth also for the mid-tone area you can still adjust the mid-tone in the color balance you can balance the mid-tone you can add orange to the mid-tone you can add green you can add any of the color this is the full color spectrum and you you can adjust, adjust the saturation, you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the brightness like this, like this particular section, you are going to leave everything at default. Same with the highlights, you can add cyan to the highlights for stylized color grading, you can adjust the saturation like this, adjust the brightness like this, return to default. Let's reset everything in the color balance. Also, there is the master where you adjust the whole tone, the color of the whole tone. You can just adjust it like this. So, as you move it, you see the effect in real time on the viewer. So, let's return this to default by double clicking on it. Reset. We go to black and white. Uh, if you want black and white, enable black and white. And then you can adjust the luminosity of the individual channel, the red, the yellow, the green, the blue, and the magenta. Okay, you don't want black and white for this image. So we are going to toggle this off. The normalize section is actually a tab used when you have several image imported. I'm going to cover that in another section when we import more images into capture one because you can import multiple image or a single image like we did so that's all the risk to the color tab section of the toolbar Then for the quality, I'm going to change it to by cubic sharper for a sharper image. You can see how sharp our image is right now. Very sharp. Then I'm going to click on save. Find a folder where you want to save. And your image has been saved to that area. So this is the end of the retouching course. 
if you have any inquiry you can reach out to me on instagram if you have my whatsapp you can contact me on whatsapp also for those of you that are very busy offer retouching services that is you can send us your image and then we edit them for you high-end retouching at a very affordable rate so even after learning this if you want us you can edit your images for you just reach out to me on instagram if there are other stuff you need you can reach out to me on instagram if you have any question you can ask me on instagram see you in another one